Up first this evening, the government is moving full speed ahead with the controversial housing development phase two of the NHG's Ruthven Towers in St. Andrew. Prime Minister Andrew Holness gave the update today as he handed over the keys to those who bought units under phase one. Andrea Chisholm has the details. The National Housing Trust, NHT, has been strongly criticized for the high cost of Ruth Van Towers Phase 1. Units were sold for between $27.7 and $37.7 million. That, for some, is too expensive for ordinary Jamaicans who contribute to the trust. And so, in December 2021, Prime Minister Andrew Holness instructed the NHT to pause Phase 2 of the project. Roughly eight months later, this. So we made the decision after careful consideration that we will go ahead with the additional phases and uh, subject to layout modifications within the allowance for habitable rooms, in phase two, we will be able to put on the market approximately 234 more units. One option is for the private sector to participate in NHT's developers program. Under the initiative, developers could build the 234 units for Ruth Van Phase 2 on lands held by the NHT. Which then the NHT would not have to tie up resources in being project managers and uh, you know doing the proprietary work. It could be a straight engagement with private sector. It's left to be seen how the public will view this update. Anticipating the comments, Mr. Holness insists the government has to cater to Jamaicans from all walks of life. Uh, there should be no reason why someone who can afford a $40 million home should not get the opportunity to buy his $40 million home. There, there's no reason. Just as long as we are ensuring that the man who only can afford his $8 million home, he gets it too. The NHT is on a mission to deliver 70,000 affordable housing units across Jamaica. According to the Prime Minister, only 8,000 have been built in Kingston and St. Andrew over the past 43 years. Upcoming units, including those at Surbiton in St. Andrew, may therefore be customized to suit the pockets of NHT contributors. The NHT will seek to identify the proposed apartment owners at the early stages of construction and utilizing cost-based options for in-unit amenities and fixtures, the owners, the proposed owners, will be able to select the option that they can afford. Ruth Van Towers is an 86-apartment gated residential complex. 389 applications were received, 80 persons selected, and 6 units reserved for the public sector. Andrea Chisholm, TVJ News.